Hello friends welcome back to my channel medvision if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to never miss the new update today's video is based upon the brachial artery so let's get started brachial artery beginning course and termination it is a continuation of the axillary artery below the lower border of the teres major muscle it is known as the brachial artery this from here is the brachial artery it runs downwards and laterally in front of the arm and reaches the cubital fossa to divide into two terminal branches namely the radial artery and the ulnar artery relations it is superficial throughout its extent and is accompanied by two venae comitants this indicates the brachial artery this part represents the anterior aspect of the brachial artery this part represents the posterior aspect of the brachial artery this part represents the medial part of the brachial artery and this part represents the lateral side of the brachial artery anteriorly in the middle of the arm it is crossed by the median nerve from the lateral to the medial side this yellow color nerve is the median nerve anterior to the brachial artery in front of the elbow we have the bicipital aponeurosis and the median cubital vein this is the brachial artery and this is the bicipital aponeurosis which covers the brachial artery in the elbow posteriorly it is related to the triceps brachii muscle the radial nerve and the profunda brachii artery medially in the upper part it is related to the ulnar nerve and the basilic nerve whereas in the lower part we also have the median nerve in its medial part laterally it is related to the coracobrachialis muscle and the biceps brachii muscle in the upper part we have the median nerve in its lateral side whereas in the lower part we have the tendon of the biceps brachii muscle branches of the brachial artery the first branches are these unnamed muscular branches which supplies various muscle on the front of the arm the second branch is the profunda brachii artery this light green color artery represents the profunda brachii artery the profunda brachii artery arises just below the teres major muscle it accompanies the radial nerve into the intermuscular space to watch my video on the intermuscular space click on to the i button or check out the link provided in the description box the next branch is the superior ulnar collateral artery this blue color artery represents the superior ulnar collateral artery it arises in the upper part of the arm and accompanies the ulnar nerve it takes part in the anastomosis around the elbow joint the next artery is the inferior ulnar collateral artery this dark green color artery represents the inferior ulnar collateral artery which is also known as the supratrochlear branch as it arises just above the trochlear part of the humerus it arises in the lower part and takes part in the anastomosis around the elbow joint the brachial artery ends into the cubital fossa by dividing into two terminal branches namely the radial artery and the ulnar artery this image is available on my instagram and facebook page to visit my instagram and facebook page the links are provided in the description box if you find this video helpful please do like share and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to never miss the new update see you soon in my next video